Good morning. It's still dark out, but I am so eager to get this message out. Spirit's working with me to deliver something important for everyone. And it was um, prompted by yesterday's message, which was uh, very powerful, <clears throat> not just for the collective to receive, but for me to deliver. And it, it brought a lot of um, emotions to the surface for people, including myself. And I think that there are some worthiness um, triggers that we need to address in our collective. Um, and part of yesterday, part of what made yesterday so kind of intense was some people questioning, um, or one in particular, and you know what, I'm actually grateful. I'm grateful because everything that happens and every time we get triggered, it's an opportunity to grow and examine ourselves. And um, it was all for me, it was an opportunity to establish my boundaries and really um, step into my power. And I'm sharing this with you because you know I'm here to guide you forward through the muck. I'm not here to only share the finished product on the other side, me sitting all pretty on a beach with tons of money and you know, just whatever it is that people think is um, identifies success. I'm here to show you <clears throat> how to get there. And the, the journey along the way is not pretty and it, it's challenging and it's oftentimes humiliating as I said in yesterday's message. Um, which was about our self-worth ultimately it was about um also surrender to god and you know go watch the video if you want the whole thing it was actually a really powerful message um it, as much as it did humiliate me humiliation thank you spirit part of i'm getting chills everywhere part of our job as spiritual beings is to humble ourselves part of god's job is to humble us for us if we aren't humble enough ourselves and one of the practices I've done intuitively since I was very young, yeah, I would say at least 17, was just kind of bare my soul in, a, in what a lot of people would consider a very humiliating way. And I know it's just a practice to um, humble my ego. I'm grateful that Spirit has prompted me that it's been such an intuitive, intuitively guided thing. I'm very unusual in that way. I'll just be the first one to say. It's something that people have pitied about me. And I actually had a very close friend um, sh showcase an old friend all all the people from my past are in the past but um, just kind of showcase how little she understood that beautiful part of me because the part of us that is vulnerable and open to sharing oh, is such a precious gift to the world and if people around you don't appreciate your vulnerability if they don't appreciate if they see it as weakness is what I mean if they if they um, What's the word that I'm looking for here? If they lose respect for you because of your beautiful humility, your beautiful ability to humble your ego and stand in the fire of truth. See, it's dark out. Um, those aren't your people. You want to be surrounded by people that see it as the strength that it is. When you are vulnerable, when you show yourself truly without any fear, or maybe you have fear, but you do it anyway. You know, fear be damned. That is a fucking superpower. And don't let anybody shame you for it. And if they do, those are not your people. The reason why yesterday's message was intense is because it did elicit some kind of ugly reactions from people. And it was really interesting to witness. And no, no, um, no hard feelings to any of those people. I do feel like it was an opportunity for me to step up into a fuller version of my power and authority because I'm, a, I'm the kind of person who wants everyone to win. Oh, I feel emotional. I want everyone to win. I don't, I don't need to be the only one winning. I don't need to be the head of anything. I don't need to be. The trouble is I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be big. I'm supposed to take up room in this life. I'm supposed to stand in my power. And yesterday was really important for me to exercise that. And here's more emotion, here's more vulnerability. This is what I'm here to, to showcase for you guys. I have a very interesting um, wide arc that I swing between extreme vulnerability and um, sensitivity, you know, and delicateness and also this fucking ferocious strength and power and authority. And spirit is really trying to get me to swing that wide arc so that I can feel and truly know 
the um, expanse of this space that I embody. <clears throat> and it is so important to remember who we are, even when, and especially when people are questioning us, when they don't get us, when they are um, coming up against us or trying to take advantage of us. And I'm not, nobody in my comments was doing any of that, but this is an example. All this is an example. The energy is <sighs> making me shake a little bit. <clears throat> not because I'm upset, because there is power in this moment, you guys. It's no joke. Whatever happened on the 20th is no fucking joke. I have, like I said in my video yesterday, I've barely been able to be a human. The um, impact has been so intense on me. <clears throat> this is because I download clear audience, uh, as a clear audience, a clear cognizant, a clear buoyant, and a clear uh, sentient. And I feel the collective's emotions and I process and transmute them. My job is, I'm also being guided to tell some of you that you don't really fully get if, if sometimes um, you misunderstand what I'm saying or my, um, especially the comment about the money and how much I charge and questioning my worth there. I don't think people really understand how much work I do behind the scenes. Like my job isn't to be on call to work with people one-on-one. -on -one. My job is to have a fucking big impact. My whole life is dedicated to this. There isn't one thing in my life that doesn't fit in this. There's not one. I wake up every day, connect with spirit. I wake up every day in devotion. Every single fucking day is dedicated in its own right as a unique moment in time that isn't like the day before, that isn't like the moment before. I show up and I serve God. That is my fucking mission here. My mission is to serve God and, and to share what I've learned, what I've uh, received in my downloads from spirit and help the collective move forward into this new awakening. That's my job. We're not here to um, play small, all right? We're not here to um, appease others or to fit in. It doesn't matter what other people are doing. Seven fucking one, one. Thank you, spirit. Oh, it doesn't matter what people are doing. Don't look to the people around you and don't listen to them when they question you and question your worth and try to um, make you doubt what you're doing. You and God are the only people that you, you don't need to explain yourself to anyone. And there, the, yesterday was a powerful day because an old version of me would have handled everything very differently. You know, because the old version of me was ego driven, like the average person. I'm not ego driven anymore. I'm really grateful to say it doesn't mean my ego doesn't have reaction. It doesn't mean my ego doesn't have things to say. Of course, egos will always have things to say and they mostly will be unproductive. Not to say the ego doesn't serve its purpose because it does and, and I love my ego because it keeps me safe in some very real ways and then in some ways that are totally fictitious and those are the parts that we fight against. Those are the parts that we, um, we don't need to listen to. But you are not here to answer to anyone else. You're here to pave your own path and look, as I was saying yesterday in my response to some of these um, unfortunate messages, it, it felt like I needed to just stand in my power and, and say how special I am. This is the thing that I've had the hardest time doing. You know, some people are raised in a really loving household and they're surrounded by people who nurture them and they're the kind of people that can come out and shine their brightest at, you know, fuck, even seven, eight, nine, ten years old, at the very least the teenage years. I'm a late bloomer, okay? I'm a late bloomer because I didn't have all those resources that some people had. I didn't have two parents, for instance. I didn't have money. I didn't have support, really. I didn't have people that understood me. And this isn't a pity party. <clears throat> this is really just to showcase how differently, it's kind of like um, spirits showing me like a nursery. Different plants need different care. They need different things to thrive. What spirit and my, my higher self sign, you know, signed me up for in this life was meant to get me to grow really fucking fast. Really fucking fast. But now, after all that growth, I'm being asked to pour over, go back over and tweak some things. And mostly that's about stepping further into my power and not um, making myself smaller for anyone at any time. You know, especially my collective. Because I do sometimes want everyone to be on be up here with me and to share this moment with me but the truth is i'm supposed to rise i'm supposed to rise and show other people and but not just that i'm supposed to allow myself to rise and know that i deserve it i'm supposed to stand in my power and really own 
my love for myself, my devotion. And this brings me to another video that I made um, over Christmas. I almost re-recorded it because it was that potent on my heart yesterday. But it's called, um, or I don't actually know what it's called, but it's um, about falling in love with yourself, about being full of yourself. It's a channel message. It's a beautiful channel message. It comes out almost like poetry. And it's about, uh, yeah, when did it become a bad thing to be full of yourself? To be so full of your essence and energy that no one can talk you out of who you are, that no one can lead you astray from your true heart's desires, from your soul's calling. It's not a bad thing to be full of yourself. It's a bad thing to be so full that you don't have room for anyone else and that you know, you're a narcissist, basically. That's the difference. I know some people really get triggered by that word, but for those of us that have dealt with a lot of them in our life, we have to call it what it is. It doesn't mean that those people are bad. We're all here to serve a purpose. Some people go through trauma and turn inward and become very inward focused, me, 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 and they cannot see from other people's perspective. And some people go through a lot of trauma and externalize 11-11 on my timer. <clears throat> they externalize everything because, um, sorry, that 11-11 really took me out of it. They, uh, yeah, they learn that it's safer when they are tuned into everyone's energy around them and they're more tuned to other people's energy than their own because the threat lies outside of them. And that's how I am. I grew up in a toxic household, a lot of abuse, verbal, physical, not just from one person, but multiple people. And um, I learned that the safest way to be was to kind of observe. <clears throat> and I might have been a very active and vocal child, but I was always observing. And there was a part of me that was always reserved and holding back because I didn't know if it was safe. And that is the part of me that's being asked to lay down my sword and stand in my power and know that it is safe. And I'm being told to tell you right now, like I do in so many of my videos, that it is safe now to come out. Anything that comes up from your coming out is stuff you need to look at anyway and heal in order to become your best self. Everything I dealt with yesterday, <clears throat> really it was just two comments out of like 70. I'm so grateful to you guys. You're fucking amazing. I've never seen people with comments like what you guys give to me. I've really never, I've been watching content for years and I've never seen such, such generous words um, and affirmation. It's really a fucking gift. You guys don't realize what a gift you are. But yeah, I digress. All that other stuff. I just really want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for being so supportive you have helped show me that it's safe to come out. You have changed my life. I'm talking to YouTube right now. I love all of you. TikTok also. TikTok really changed my life as well. You guys are unmatched. And um, I wouldn't be here without you. I wouldn't be this fiery, this passionate, this confident without your support. You really have helped me come out of my shell. <clears throat> and I couldn't be more fucking grateful to you. And you know what? It's a win, 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 win. Because the more I step into my power, the more like badass shit is gonna come out of my mouth and the more badass projects I'm going to head, spearhead, because I really am a conduit for God. That's what I am. I can't take credit for any of this. I'm just a channel. I mean, I can take credit for the fact that I've set my entire life aside and done a lot of fucking work and I keep a pure vessel. I can take credit for that, but the rest is God. <laughs> and you know what? Hold on to your hats because if the last few days have not shown you how crazy this period of time is, it's about to get really crazy. It doesn't have to be a bad thing. It can be just crazy in that things are moving quickly now in positive ways that you've been waiting for. <clears throat> but it's going to require you to be like, oh shit, and get your ducks in order to get organized. And I've been guided to start making longer videos for YouTube because there, this is a period where um, it's no, I've just heard it, it's no man's land. Almost. I don't know what that means right now, but I'm going to go ahead and just speak, let God speak through me. No Man's Land is about going where no man has gone before, um, venturing into uncharted territory and becoming um, an adventurer in your own life, not looking to other people to identify and um, create your own unique path. You are here to uncover that with God and that is going to happen when you surrender and step way outside of your comfort zone. And that is why I'm here. I'm here to show you what that looks like by crying publicly, by sharing that I only had $600 in the bank account yesterday. Thankfully, that's not true anymore. Thanks to you fucking beautiful people. <clears throat> by sharing, you know, that I've been abused, that I've been poor, that I've been homeless. I'm here to show you that it's okay to be vulnerable. It doesn't mean that you have to give up your power. It doesn't mean that you have to um, 
succumb to others authority because you you know been lesser if anything it's the opposite you're here to harness all that power from the pain that you've been through and put it towards something amazing that's what i'm doing i don't know yet where it's leading that's part of my job here is to show you what fucking surrender looks like surrender looks like being in limbo for 10 months surrender looks like at, at times having 65 dollars in the bank and not freaking out and trusting that it would be fine and it, of course it always fucking was and that happened more than one time since I quit my business last um, June. There have been multiple times when I had less than I could even afford to buy groceries. And Spirit has taken care of me because I have not freaked out. I have not struggled. I have not panicked. I know that I'm held. I know that I'm a badass. I know that I'm going to be a millionaire. <clears throat> and I don't care if you believe me or not. I've known that since I was a little kid. Even though I grew up really effing poor for the first six, seven years of my life. I was exceptionally poor I would say <clears throat> I'm not gonna apologize for who I am or my role in this collective anymore I'm not going to um, give up my power to make other people feel comfortable I am powerful I'm here to stir up big change those that are into it are fucking into it those that aren't can go somewhere else with love because we all have our own mission here and I know what I say sometimes triggers people and I'm okay with that you know, I am, I'm ready to stand in the fire and really know that I'm not going to get burned because I've spent my entire life being forged in it. I mean, I've had more traumatic things happen in the first five years of my life than most people do in their entire life, all right? And by most, I mean probably in a country like the U United States, okay? I know we've got it pretty easy here. I know there are a lot of other people that have a lot harder. We always need to have perspective on you know if you've traveled anywhere in the world you, you know that not every country is the same they don't all, all have the same standards of living gratitude is also i'm being guided to say a huge part of this humility gratitude so first of all i just want to say thank you for being here thank you for being such an active part of my life thank you for sharing um your essence and energy with me those that do and those that don't that appreciate my my content please consider contributing to this by subscribing to the channel by liking the content by commenting and interacting it really really makes a difference not just for my content to get out to more people but to me it makes me feel amazing when i know that i am backed by these people that i haven't met but i know we're all soul connected it's such a fucking beautiful trip and after years of slogging through this alone i couldn't be more grateful so I know this message is a little bit of everything all over. I hope it reached those that needed it. I hope it reached those that, you know, needed that gratitude for all that you give to me and my channel. And um, anybody who's stepped out and worked with me or donated to my channel, I also very, very much appreciate you. I couldn't do this without you. This is my life. I don't have a job. This is my job. <laughs> this is my job. This is my full time. I am myself full time. I'm being guided to say. It's fun. It's scary it's crazy it's amazing and it's just getting started and there's a whole other version of me on the other side of this that's it's pointing back to this moment with y'all this humble moment <clears throat> and remembering how far I've come just you just wait we're heading somewhere beautiful stay focused on the on the goal stay focused on humility stay humble and even if you're in a better situation than someone else doesn't mean you're gonna stay there it doesn't mean that you are better than them I, I'm being guided to say that when we sign up for our contract, our different contracts, we choose levels from easy to exceptionally hard. And some of us signed up for exceptionally hard on pretty much all of it. That doesn't mean that, um, and if you signed up for easy, you compare yourself to my, my anyone. You're, you know, it's kind of like being somebody that just keeps weight off or just loses weight really easily. You might assume that people that don't are lazy as a person who has identified as curvy most of my life, I'm thinner now just because I'm listening to spirit more, but um, I know that some people just have a hard time losing weight, that they eat better than skinny people. It's a, it's like, don't, I know this is a weird analogy, all right? But don't uh, judge other people for their process and assume that they're lazy because it's been easy for you. What you need to do is have more gratitude and recognize that you've had it easier than them. Some people just, had a bunch of money fall in their lap when they had their awakening. Some of us have been slogging through this for 22 years. 
you know, like have perspective. If you're somebody that just woke up in the last year or a few months and you're comparing yourself to somebody that's been doing this for several decades, it's not the same thing at all. Your humbled, humbling moments will come. Trust me, they will. They might not come in the same form because we all have different karma. We all sign up for different contracts. But don't, don't get proud here and start looking at other people and feeling like you're better than them because you're not. And your moment of humbling will come is what I'm hearing. You're, uh, there's a lot of humbling moments ahead for those of us that need them. And for those of us that have already been slogging through them for our entire lives, we're about to come up. We're about to have a lot more than we've ever had. And you know what? We're going to be damn generous with it because we know what it's like to go without. And to those people, oof, babies, I'm getting a little teary-eyed just feeling you. I love you. All right? You're with me. <clears throat> and to all the rest of you, you know I fucking love you. Stay true to yourself. Let's go. All right? And if you want to work with me or you need a private tarot reading or you want to support the channel, I'm going to put my website in the description box and you can go there and check it all out. But either way, I love you so much. Keep going.